Howdy campers, welcome to your 15th Django tutorial and in this video we'll talk about URL tags and URL names. Alright then, so in the last video what we did was set up this URL right here for our article detail page and we captured the slug that a user would type in here, right here in this named capturing group and then we sent this slug variable through to our views function here and received it as a second parameter and sent it back as a HTTP response and I said in this video we take the slug query our database to find a article with that slug and then send it back to a template but before we do that I want to show you one more thing I want to show you how we can hook up these links so that if we click on this, it goes to the correct URL. For example, forward slash articles, forward slash Django hyphen rules, or forward slash Django Nautic hyphen opening. So how do we hook up that functionality? Because at the minute in our article, all we do is go to this thing right here. The link goes to a hash symbol. So we want to output the different URLs right here for the different articles. And we can't hard code this because we're outputting this code for each article that we send down. So this is repeating. So if we hard code it, it will just repeat the same one over and over. So how are we going to output the individual URLs or slugs inside this thing right here for each individual article? Well, I think the best way to do this is by using named URLs. So how does this work? Well, we can assign our URLs right here a name. So for example, I could give this a name by passing in a third parameter called name and setting that equal to some name of this thing right here. So if I call this list, then this URL is called list. Does that make sense? And also I could do the same thing for this one right here and call this detail. So now if I want to output this URL inside a template, then instead of hard coding that URL, I could just say, okay, use this URL right here, this list URL, because that's the name of it. So let's test this one out first of all. And to do that, we'll go into our base layout and we'll create a link at the top. So right here, first of all, we'll need a H1. Then we'll need an anchor tag. And inside here, we want to output a URL. Now we're not going to hard code this URL. Instead, we're going to use our template tags so if we just add those in right here and then we say we want to use a URL and then inside quotes right here, we say which URL we want this anchor tag to, list, uh, to link to. Now we want to link to the list URL. So Django will look at this and say, okay, well, they want to use a URL called list. So I'll find that over here and they say, okay, it's this one right here. This is the URL they want to go to. So I'll serve them this view. So this is what's happening behind the scenes. So if we add some text in here called articles or something like that, save it and refresh over here, then if we click on this articles, then it will take you to the articles page. Now, instead of this, I'd like to use an image instead. So we'll create some kind of logo. This will be an image tag and the source is gonna be equal to something and before we set it equal to something, we'll need to dump it inside our assets folder, which is in here. So let's dump our logo inside there. Now the logo can be found on my GitHub repository. I've also got it in my folder over here. So let's just grab that and paste it inside there. So we'll use that logo now. And remember, we can use static files by saying template tags then static and then which file we want to load, which is going to be logo.png. So this is going to grab that image and place it inside the anchor tag, which will link to the list URL. So let's save that and refresh. And now this logo will link us all the time to this articles page. Okay, so that's how we use named URLs. But now I'd like to set it up for this one over here, detail, all right? So how are we going to use this detail URL inside our article list to link to the individual details? Well, it's going to be pretty much the same kind of thing. So first of all, let's create our template tags like so. Then inside we want to use a URL and the URL we want to go to is going to be detail like so. Now, the problem here is that this detail URL also is looking for this slug. 
and we've not passed any kind of slug in here. So it's not going to work yet. But any time we're using a named capturing group like this, we can pass through this parameter inside the URL itself, dead simply. We say the name of that parameter and set it equal to whatever we want to pass through. Now we want to pass through the slug of that particular article. Remember, we're storing that slug on the article. So we can say article dot slug, and then that will say, okay, well the slug parameter that we want to pass through to this URL is going to be the slug on this particular article that we receive right here. So if I save this now and refresh over here, then hopefully this should work, but we get an error. So I figured out that the reason it didn't work is because inside the admin, I didn't have a slug set up for one of the blocks. So I just set up a slug and saved it. And now if you refresh, it works. So if you hover over one of these, you can see right at the bottom over here, the URL for that. And if I go to that URL, then we can see this is correct. And I go to Django rules, this is correct. So now these URLs are outputting correctly, which is really good. Now, there's one problem with the way we've done all this, and it's not really a big problem for us at the minute, but as you develop your site, it will become a problem. And that is because, say for instance, our URLs, we have a name called list right here and a name called detail right here. Now, imagine we have a different app, which would be authors, for example. And inside that authors app, we also have URLs, which will list the authors and show the details of those authors. Now, we might also name those list and detail. So when we output a URL over here, how does Django know, well, I want to output the article detail and not the author detail? Well, the way we do that is by namespacing our URLs. And we can do that inside the URLs file itself. So if I say right here, app underscore name, and set that equal to articles, then we have essentially namespaced this URLs file. So when we reference a URL now, instead of just saying detail, we can say, well, no, get the articles colon detail. Now, if there were two detail um, URLs in two different apps, Django knows to look in the articles URLs to for the detail URL itself. Does that make sense? So that's how we combat that problem. And we can just add in articles right here as well like so, save that, and then hopefully all of this will still be working. If I refresh over here, then if I click on one of these links, it still works, and if I click on this icon at the top, it still works, it goes to the articles page. Okay, so my friends, that is how we can link up our different blogs using these named URLs. So in the next video, we will be sending back then a template to the user for these individual articles.